These are TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. Now, it's fairly common knowledge to most people that the most painful way that a human could possibly die is from being burned alive. But having your body be burned to a crisp isn't even the most terrifying part about this. If you manage to keep consciousness while this whole thing is going on, you will realize that your eyes will actually start to melt while you are still awake. I'm back, it's your boy F-I-T-T-I to the E, and today we're watching this compilation together. So grab your popcorn, your water, whatever you want. Remember to like and subscribe so we can run up the numbers in the algorithm. If you like my jewelry, check my link down in the description. These are some extremely unsettling facts, and I found all of these on Reddit. Now, it's fairly common knowledge to most people that the most painful way that a human could possibly die is from being burned alive. But having your body be burned to a crisp isn't even the most terrifying part about this. If you manage to keep consciousness while this whole thing is going on, you will realize that your eyes will actually start to melt while you are still awake. Which means not only will you have to deal with the pain of your entire body being scorched, you'll have to deal with the pain of your eyes melting out of your skull. Now, 9-11 is hands down one of the most terrifying, horrible days in American history. And this is just one of the terrifying stories that comes along with that day. There was a man who worked in the second tower that got hit and realized something was horribly wrong when the first tower was struck by the plane. So he took the elevator and made it all the way down to the lobby where he was stopped by a security guard. The security guard told him to just go back upstairs and wait in his office where he will be much safer. Moments after he made it back to his office, the second plane hit his building mm. and he became trapped in his office. And if you look hard enough online, you can find this man's last phone call that he made to his father where he kept telling him that he just wishes that he left the building when he had the chance. I know I talk about a lot of dark stuff on here, so make sure to go check out my bio for something a lot more positive that could change your life. Jack Haley was the man who portrayed the Tin Man on The Wizard of Oz. His entire costume consisted of him wearing a metal suit with paint on his face. But this paint on his face was actually an aluminum paste that was put onto him to give him the appearance that his entire body was made of tin. Temperatures on set got to be very hot at many different points of filming and this caused the aluminum paste on his face to melt into his eyes which caused him to get a severe infection in both of his eyes. Due to this infection he had to have several procedures done on his eyes and this is just one more horror story from the Wizard of Oz. And look I know hearing all these is very hard and I just keep coming back with darker and darker facts but R.I.P. to everyone in 9-11 man may their soul rest in peace. R.I.P. that guy in Wizard of Oz too. I know his eyes hurt. Unintentionally disturbing characters from children's shows, part one. Nosy Bonk, from Jigsaw, was a mean mm. character who tried to solve a multitude of puzzles during the show. Limbo, from Sesame Street, was a Muppet made up of two floating eyes and a mouth over a black background speaking with a deep and calm voice. Let's count to ten. Him, from the Powerpuff Girls, was the secondary antagonist of the show and the devil of the world. <laughs> Ah, that second one was scary. Like, why was his voice like that? Let's count to 10. I'm not gonna lie, him from Powerpuff Girls? I used to watch that. This hotel is so haunted, it had actor Jim Carrey fleeing in the middle of the night. This is the infamous Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel is most commonly known as the hotel that inspired Stephen King's The Shining. Yep, this one. The Stanley Hotel sits in hauntingly beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. It was opened in 1909 by Freeland Oscar Stanley. It's called the Disneyland for ghosts. Recently, a guest caught this ghostly woman in the window while taking a photo of the hotel's entrance. Here's a closer look. What if you've the seen hell? The Shining, you know the infamous room that Danny is told to avoid. Well, that room is based on room 217 at the Stanley. Stephen King stayed there himself, and it's reportedly haunted by Miss Wilson, one of the Stanley's original housekeepers in the 1910s. She's an old-fashioned type of woman and doesn't approve of unwed couples sharing the room or bed. Couples have said they felt a cold force in between them at night. And even reports of waking up to the male's belongings and suitcase packed up at the door. Mm. She's like, get out. A notable guest of room 217 is actor Jim Carrey. The hotel was a location for Dumb and Dumber, and during filming, Jim checked into room 217 for a stay. And only stayed for a few hours. In the middle of the first night, he ran down to the front desk and demanded to be moved into another room, saying that something had happened and he did not feel safe in that room. When the front desk told him that the hotel was fully booked, he left. To this day, no one knows who or what Jim Carrey saw in that room that night. Jim, we really want to know. Please? The hotel's staircase is considered a spiritual vortex, and another spirit was caught on camera pictured here. And the haunting twins from the Shining film, that ties into the Stanley as well. Guests staying on the fourth floor frequently report hearing children running, laughing, giggling, and playing. And who was that? Is that a person? What's going on here? 
And lastly, a ghost of a cowboy haunts room 428 and has a flirty presence. He's been seen standing at the corner of the bed and appears mostly to women. Some guests have even reported feeling the sensation of a kiss on their cheek. I had no idea that ghosts could kiss. If a <clears throat> booking ghost kissed me, would I immediately pull away? I might linger. A lot of you requested the Stanley, so I want to know, do you all have any spooky stories there? Oh, she getting me tight, bro. Shut up. <laughs> like, what is she talking about? At first, I was interested, you know, listening, and then she's talking about, if a ghost kiss me, you know, maybe I would actually, like, shut up, bro. I don't care. So we all know about Smile Dog, but have you guys heard of Smile Owl? Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Creepypastas are not real. Or are they? A young man wakes up in the middle of the night with a really bad taste in his mouth. But it wasn't like a bad breath taste. It was more like a very, very sweet taste. He went to the bathroom and brushed his teeth, but it didn't take away the taste. Then he noticed that there was a white substance on his tongue that wouldn't come off. No matter how much he brushed his tongue, the white substance just would not come off. He walked back into his bedroom, and when he looked out the window, White he saw substance? This. An all-white owl staring at him. The young man and the owl locked gazes. You already know what I'm thinking. Something very strange. The owl smiled, and in its mouth were human teeth. After the man realized that the owl had human teeth, he started feeling a very strange sensation in his tongue. What happens next would change his life forever. Part two of Smile Owl. After the man and the owl lock eyes, he, the pain is unbearable at this point, and the owl is still staring at him smiling. So the man does the only thing that he can think of, and he cuts off his tongue. What? He tosses the tongue and it lands in his bedroom. He hears a noise that sounds like wings flapping in his bedroom. He goes to look, and his tongue is gone. The owl is still outside, only this time he has a tongue in his mouth. Man, the whole time I thought this man was about to be a G and, you know, kill the owl, like use the knife and stab the- Bro, cut off his own tongue! Well, thank God I'm in America, so, you know, I would just grab a shotgun. <laughs> These are the most disturbing things found in food, part one. Okay, so everybody watching this video definitely had a Capri Sun. 100%. But after watching this video, you would definitely never have another one again. I never already did. In 2016, a young boy told his dad that the juice wasn't coming out of the Capri Sun packet. So his dad then cut it open and what they found inside will make you sick to your stomach. I'm not, oh, Nasty. I'm about to yak, oh no. So next time you go and drink That's Capri disgusting. Sun, you might be drinking fungus instead of Capri Sun. <sighs> That's nasty. Imagine. Bro, that would be the biggest lawsuit of 2023. Best believe your boy would pop back up in a new video. Gucci Mink Cola. What's cracking, gang? It's your boy F I T T I to the E. Cuban links crazy around my neck. Gucci Beanie just got $20 million from Capperson. These motherfuckers had fungus in my drink. Trying to get me sick and shit? Hell no. Hey, look, a pizza. You gotta let him into your house now. Best believe I'm not letting you in my house. And if you come in... Disturbing facts that will ruin your day, part 16. If you have died around your cat, it is likely to start eating you in less than 24 hours, starting from cheeks and eyes. What? The green falling code in the Matrix is just lots of sushi recipes. Oh, that's A hilarious. woman being arrested for wearing one-piece bathing suits in the 1920s. By the time you reach the age of 18, on average, you have 3,300 weekends left in your life. Damn. Damn, my weekends are running out. I wonder what I can do to increase them hoes. These are some extremely unsettling facts. And I Part found 25. all of these on Reddit. In the 1982 film Poltergeist, there's a scene where actress Jo Beth Williams is in a pool. And when she's in this pool, she starts to realize that corpses are all in the water and they start to come up and attack her. Now to us, it just seemed like another amazing scene to add to one of the best horror movies ever. But this scene has a dark twist to it. You see, in the filming of this scene, they used real corpses. And actress Jo Beth Williams had no idea about this. And it genuinely adds another level of terror to this movie. The Wizard of Oz is one of the best known movies of all time. It follows Dorothy and her dog Toto as a tornado comes and takes them away from their home in Kansas. But this movie has a very creepy urban legend behind it. In this specific scene of the movie, you can see Dorothy and all of her friends going down the road. But if you look deep in the background, you'll see what seems to be a human hanging from a tree. And finally, scientists have made a disturbing discovery. But before I get into that, if you guys want a really sweet surprise, go ahead and 
repeat my bio. But anyway, scientists have made a very scary discovery in the glaciers of the world. Scientists have discovered that there are several diseases that are frozen within the ice of glaciers. I know what you're thinking, I mean it's frozen, like we don't have to worry about that. But this is a problem because the earth has started to warm up at a very steady rate since 2015 especially. And thus, if these glaciers melt enough, it will release these viruses and diseases into the earth. But look, that was really negative and I'm sorry about that. And if you want something more positive, make sure to go peep my bio. But uh, I guess that's really it. Um, Bro, the Wizard of Oz is just always have some weird lore or weird background something going on. Like, what's like what's go with this movie, bro? <laughs> if you're thinking about ignoring your gut instinct, trust don't. your gut Here instinct. Are three reasons why you should trust it. Reddit user Kylan13 said that he went out on a couple of dates with the girl, but he got a weird vibe from her, so he didn't stay in touch. She stabbed her next boyfriend two months later. Megan said that she was being pursued by a man. He kept coming into the bar that she worked at and was constantly asking her out. Directly, there was nothing wrong or troubling about him. She just got a terrible feeling whenever he was talking to her. She would feel terribly sick. All of her female coworkers kept egging her on to go on a date with this man though. She kept saying, no, something about him makes me sick. Eventually, one of her friends convinced her to go on a double date with her and her boyfriend and this man. It only lasted about two hours before Megan said she wasn't feeling well and got a cab home. She didn't see the man for a couple of weeks, so she thought that maybe he had gotten the hint. But no. The same friend who pressured her into going on a double date called Megan yelling hysterically. She said that she would never doubt Megan's judgment again and forwarded her a news story about how the same man was just arrested a couple of days before for the murder of a woman he was dating. Mm. So the entire time that he was trying to convince Megan to go on a date, he had already strangled and killed another woman and set her house on fire to try and cover it up. A former Reddit user said that she was sitting in her bedroom one day when she got this intense feeling in her gut, which was sort of saying, you need to get out of here right now. Then she started to get this immense feeling of terror, like she was being watched. She immediately got out of there and went to a friend's house. When she finally got back home, her house had been ransacked. Things had been knocked over, lots of glass had been broken everywhere, and a window was left wide open. She says that now she always takes that gut feeling more seriously. If I'm being honest, why the hell would you burn down the house after you did that? That's so obvious. Now people are going to be like, whoa, there's a burning house. Let's check it out. Cops are going to burning down a house to cover evidence. Got to be the dumbest stuff you could do, actually. RIP to those victims. This is why you should always change, change your, your phone. Oh, In sure. 2017, a college girl woke up from a nightmare drenched in sweat and decided to rinse off before going back to sleep. Okay. She propped her phone on a shelf, turned on some music, and then hopped in the shower. A few minutes later, she reaches for her phone to change the song, but stops suddenly. Reflected on her phone's screen was a person standing in the middle of her bathroom facing the shower. She somehow kept her composure, turned the water to scalding hot, and then ripped open the curtain and sprayed the intruder in the face. As they howled in pain, she ran past them to her kitchen to get her butcher's knife. In a panic, she can't find her knife, so she just runs out of the apartment and calls the police. The police go in and come out with a crazy looking woman in handcuffs. One of the officers comes over to the girl and says she used to live here and she had copies of your keys. Then he pauses and looks down and brings up a clear evidence bag that contained her butcher's knife and he says, looks like she wanted her apartment back. Well, you can't have it back because I live here now. What the f Yo, that was actually kind of terrifying. There's something terrifying going on at Chuck E. Cheese right now and I'm gonna explain it to you. So we all know about the game Five Nights at Freddy's, right? It's a game based around a restaurant that's pretty much like a Chuck E. Cheese where the animatronics come to life and wreak havoc on all the guests there. But what if I told you this was possibly happening in real life right now? Just two days ago, five children have gone missing inside of a Chuck E. Cheese and the parents reported a weird smell from the inside of the building. And then just like Five Nights at Freddy's, someone that worked the late night shift actually got killed after hours. Mm. Now these are all pretty weird, but here's the kicker right here. Check out this headline. Night shift workers from Chuck E. Cheese claim strange movement from animatronics post hours. So I don't know, what do you think about this? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? And I mean with 2020 and everything going on, like I wouldn't be shocked if it was real. I mean, he's not wrong with everything going on. I would not be surprised if that was real. Probably is real. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew, part one. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, so they used real human skeletons. <laughs> Since then, they've removed all but one. Ducks sometimes become cannibals due to boredom, meaning they kill and eat each other. This behavior begins as early as four weeks old. 
crocodiles are capable of galloping, similar to a horse. Luckily, alligators cannot. Mm. And while we're at it, tarantulas can swim. <laughs> it's extremely common after you die that there will be extreme gas buildup and you will burp after death. And sometimes dead bodies can even sit up on their own. Also, if a pregnant woman dies, the gas buildup in her body can actually forcefully push a baby out. In other words, a post-mortem baby bazooka. Hearing is the last bodily function to go after one dies, so it's very possible that the last thing you ever hear is the paramedic calling off your CPR. It's actually terrifying. Imagine you just die and then because of all the gas buildup, you start Undertaker just like, mm, resurrect. Uh, that'd be crazy. This is why you should never stay in sketchy motels. In 2005, a young woman on a solo road trip across the country decided to stop for the night. The first place she sees is the Mountaintop Motel. It looked pretty cheap, but she was tired, so she said good enough. The check-in guy eyed her up and down very uncomfortably and then asked her if she was traveling alone. She ignores the question, pays for her room, and then walks away with the key. When she gets inside her room and sees there are literally cockroaches in her bed, she says nope and decides to sleep in her car in the parking lot. Around 3 a.m., she wakes up to see the check-in guy using his own keys to get into the motel room she was supposed to be in. A few minutes later, he storms out and slams the door and starts walking towards her car. Terrified, she hides under her blanket as the man tries to open her car doors but can't and walks away. She speeds off and calls her friend and asks her to look up the address of Mountaintop Motel so she can give it to police. Her friend's quiet for a second and then just says, the Mountaintop Motel closed a week ago. If someone offers you this, walk away. In 2016, a man was staying at his friend's cabin in the woods when he decided to go for an evening stroll. A little ways down the trail, he hears someone call out from behind his neighbor's house. He looks up and he sees this skinny guy pop out from behind the building who starts waving frantically at him to come over. Worried this guy could be in trouble, the man takes off running to assist, but when he gets close enough, the neighbor just offers him a fistful of Slim Jims and starts talking about how much he hates his wife. Sensing there was something wrong with this guy, he says no thank you to the Slim Jims and walks away. The next day, the man calls his friend who owned the cabin to ask him what the deal was with his weirdo neighbor. There was silence on the phone, and then his friend just says, I don't have any neighbors. The police are called, and it turns out his neighbor was really some lunatic who had recently killed his wife and had been hiding out in the abandoned cabin next door. My boy came up to him and said, yo, you going to Slim Jim? And I hate my goddamn wife, that son of a- This is why you always say yes to tandoori chicken. In 2012, a high school tutor and her student stayed up so late one night studying that by the time they were done, the buses had stopped running. Without mm. another way home, the student asked if he could stay the night at her place. Reluctantly, she agreed. When they got back to the apartment, she fell asleep on her bed and he fell asleep on a blanket next to her bed on the ground. A few hours later, she wakes up to the boy standing awkwardly in the middle of the room with a very strange look on his face. She asks him, what's wrong? He looks at her and says, I'm really hungry. Let's go get some tandoori chicken. Confused, she says, it's 2 a.m. Just get a snack in the cupboard. And he grabs her by the arm and he says, no, we are getting tandoori chicken right now. And he yanks <laughs> her from the bed. Feeling totally caught off guard by this whole situation, she goes into the hall with the boy. And as soon as the door shuts behind them, she can tell that he is terrified. He looks at her and just says, I'm not actually hungry. When I woke up, there was someone under your bed. Yeah, he pretty much saved her, man. What the hell? I wonder who or what was under her bed, though. This is why you should always trust your gut. In the early 1970s, a college student decided to hitchhike his way home after class. A car pulls up, a man offers him a ride, and he climbs in. As soon as the car started moving, the student felt totally uneasy, like something was wrong, but he couldn't quite place it. Without saying anything, he waited till the next time they slowed down, and he flung the door open and ran away. Two years later, he's flicking through TV channels when he comes across this special interview with a death row inmate, and it's just the audio recording, so he hears the interviewer ask the inmate, why did you remove all the door handles inside of your car? The man just goes, well, the first time I tried to kill someone, I picked up a college hitchhiker who got smart at some point and jumped out of my car. So, lesson learned, remove all the door handles. When they showed his picture, the student knew immediately that he was supposed to be the first victim of John Wayne Gacy, a.k.a. the killer clown who had killed over 30 men and boys in his clown room and stuffed them into his basement. The fact my boy survived John Wayne Gacy, big round of applause to him because that situation could have ended so bad in his favor. It's crazy, bro. 
This is why you should always trust your gut. In the 1970s, a young couple decided to go for a late night hike in the woods. A couple minutes into their walk and the man remembers thinking something's not right. He tells his girlfriend, but they just decide to ignore it and keep going until he steps on something that felt really soft, like it was alive. Before he has a chance to see what he stepped on, they hear all this rustling in the bushes next to them and they bolt. Years later, that couple turns on the TV and a death row inmate who's about to be executed is being interviewed. And they ask him, was there ever a time that you were almost caught red-handed? He responded, yes, one time. I was in the woods and a couple walked through and the man actually stepped on the body of a girl I had just killed. Mm. I was hiding in the bushes just a few feet away. They didn't see me. That couple had run into one of the worst serial killers of all time, Ted Bundy. Damn, they got lucky because with Teddy Boy over there, Teddy could have just eliminated them too. But it was like, nah, I already got my victim. RIP that victim though that, that ended up got it getting stepped on. So well, supposedly this is what the fallen angel Lucifer looks like. And this is what the moon looked like on March 31st, 2020. Oh my god, it's him! I don't know about any of you guys, but this is scary. Especially with everything going on in the world right now. Pretty cool! Yeah, I said that looked pretty cool. I don't really know if that picture is Lucifer per se. I mean, what are we gonna do? Realistically, right? Just be a reminder that there really are monsters out there. In 2007, a woman living right near a prison in California got home late one night and went right to bed. Around midnight, she woke up to footsteps on her first floor, assumed it was her roommate, so she goes downstairs to say hi. She yells out to her roommate, who doesn't say anything, and then in walks this giant man who she doesn't recognize. She runs upstairs, jumps in her closet into the crawl space, and hides. As she's helplessly tucked away in this little crawl space, trying not to make any sound, all she hears is this giant man sprinting around her house, running into walls, flipping furniture, and screaming in frustration because he can't find her. Finally, after several hours, she slowly opens the crawl space back up, crawls out, and gets her phone off the nightstand and calls police. As she's telling the police her story, she describes the person who had broken in and they stop her and say, ma'am, go back in the crawl space and stay there. We'll be there as soon as we can. It turned out a six foot 11 convicted murderer had escaped the prison and was still on the loose. A six foot 11 murderer? Oh my gosh. He just came in her house with no reasoning, but just to kill her. Yo, that's what really confusing me about like some of these criminals. Like, what's the point? You're just doing it just for a play, boy? Like what? Nice. What the f- Rose Umbrella turned into a spider, then proceeded to kill someone and exploded. Nice. <laughs> if you scare easily, I wouldn't watch this video. In 2013, a mine explorer found this entrance to an abandoned mine and decided to go have a look around. He decides to film his experience and upload it to his YouTube channel where he had uploaded hundreds of other videos of him exploring mines, but he never once references the paranormal or ghosts or anything like that until this video. As soon as he steps foot inside, he tells the camera that he has a really uneasy feeling about being there and wonders if he should even keep going, but he does. Everything seems pretty normal until he gets to a section in the mine where there's a bunch of chains hanging down from the ceiling. He hears something in the back of the tunnel, so he pulls his flashlight out and he shines it towards the back and he sees a chain swinging and it shouldn't be because there's no draft and he's all alone and you can tell he's scared by the way he starts talking. Although he's totally freaked out, he wants to know what's causing the chain to swing, so he goes farther and farther into the mine until he hears something. People whispering in every direction. He gets totally spooked and runs out. If you don't want to sleep tonight, watch the whole video. Nah, that's actually wild, bro. This is why you should never open your door for strangers. In 2013, a woman let her dog out to use the bathroom one more time before bed. After only a few minutes, she starts hearing scratching on her door, which is typically the sound her dog makes when he's ready to come in. But it just seemed way too soon for him to be done being outside. So she decides to look through the peephole to make sure it really is her dog. But what she sees is terrifying. A deranged looking man is right outside her door, staring oh intently God. at her door handle, waiting for it to turn open. As she's looking in horror, unable to do anything, he starts scratching at the door as hard as he can, never leaving his gaze from the door handle. She manages to stifle Where's a the scream, dog? she backs away and realizes her dog is still outside. So she goes to the side window, but there's no sign of her dog, and so she goes back to the door to see if maybe the man's moved. He hasn't moved, his mouth is open, and he's staring directly at the peephole. Then he turns around and walks away. With the man gone, she discovers her dog unharmed, his leash had just been cut. 
But that means he had a knife. Bro, that's terrifying, bro. It's like, bro, why, why, why people gotta be so weird, man? Like, just, just go somewhere. You don't gotta come on my door and knock and look so weird. Like, get out of here, bro. I hit this motherfucker with his water bottle. Stop playing with me. Moments caught at Target Stores, Part One. Target in this stores. video, a woman films herself talking to a man in a Target store. It's unclear what they are talking about, but then the woman points the camera at him and asks if he remembers talking to her before. The man instantly He's starts running dash. out of the Target. Stop that guy! Call the cops! Call the cops on him! Call the cops! The woman chases him out yelling for people to stop him and call the police. She chases him all the way out to the parking lot and he gets in his car and leaves. The woman said that she had seen the man in the Target before and he had asked her super inappropriate questions that made her feel very uncomfortable. That was what was going through my head was just I had to get his face, I had to get something on him to put put him out there and catch this guy. Oh, that guy's a weirdo. She was like, stop that guy right now! Everyone was like, what the fuck? Scariest close calls with death. This terrifying close call was recorded on the 18th of May 2018, and it shows the cyclists entering a dark tunnel. Everything is going fine until they come across their absolute worst nightmare. A train siren is heard from the distance approaching quickly so the cyclists run for their life. By some miracle the cyclists manage to escape the train with seconds to spare. Nah, that's crazy. Imagine getting stuck in the hole like that. Oh, they're so lucky they escaped untouched. That would have been crazy if they got hit. Scariest moments caught on camera PT.11. Part 11. In July 18th, a South Florida resident experienced a terrifying encounter outside her window. What the f- And a no woman is violently attempting to enter their apartment. The woman is entering on a possessed or pos on a substance or possessed. Either way, the resident don't want her inside. What? The woman continues to react outside their window while one of the women takes the opportunities to cl close it shut. I'm not sure what's troubling this woman, but I hope she's getting the help she needs because this is very scary to witnesses. This is very scary to witness. My bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. As soon as I read South Florida, I was like, yeah, nah, someone's gotta be tweaking. Someone's gotta be tweaking. I don't know what's in the water down there in Florida, but there's always some Florida person doing some weird shit. Terrifying things found deep in the woods. This footage shows two dirt bike riders riding on a remote path in the woods on the 15th of September 2017. As they ride their dirt bikes further through the woods, they then come across every dirt bike rider's worst nightmare. Tied up to trees, there was a deadly steel cable trap which they almost ran into at full speed. A steel cable trap is an extremely dangerous trap where someone ties a sharp wire around two trees that blocks the path of mountain bikers and dirt bikers. These traps could easily be fatal and seriously injure people, but thankfully they stopped just in time. Whoever set that up, one of them boys gone, bro. Like, whoa, like whoa, what was the reasoning for that? This man claims his psychiatrist controlled and took over his life for 30 years. This is the Shrink Next Door case. In 1981 in New York, Marty Markowitz was having a hard time. He was grieving the loss of his parents and having problems with his family business. Marty was a millionaire and financially well off, but was just really lost. He heard about a psychiatrist named Dr. Isaac Ike Hirschkopf, who was rumored to have a direct and unconventional approach with his clients. He was well known as a celebrity doctor and would flaunt his relationships with well-known people like Gwyneth Paltrow and him. Mm. Yeah. Marty began seeing the doctor oh, and really yuck. helped him at first, but then things took a strange turn. The doctor began inserting himself into Marty's life. He convinced Marty to give him control over his finances. Marty would run errands for him. The doctor alienated him from his sister, pictured here by telling him that he couldn't trust her. 
It even got to the point where the doctor moved into Marty's Hamptons home and pretended it was his own. The doctor would host parties there and then force Marty to serve the guests as part of the catering staff. He essentially became the doctor's handyman and assistant while paying him. Mm. A neighbor of the Hamptons home, journalist Joe Nocera, assumed that Dr. Ike owned the home and Marty was just a groundskeeper. Joe began investigating and realized that this was one twisted ordeal. Marty said, quote, he didn't let me have a girlfriend. I would go on a date and he'd call her a gold digger. He would say, everyone is out to get you. I'm going to protect you. And I was stupid enough to buy it. The doctor persuaded Marty to rewrite his will and leave his entire estate to him and installed himself as the president of Markowitz's company. And this continued on for 30 years. It wasn't until 2010 when Marty went in for a medical procedure. Afterwards, he noticed that Dr. Ike didn't check on him or visit. And he finally began questioning the relationship. The doctor knew Marty truly didn't have anyone else in his life and Marty realized that this entire relationship was a fraud. After realizing he was, quote, living a lie, Marty cut off ties with the doctor and later found out that Dr. Ike had done this to multiple other patients over the years. He was ultimately ordered to surrender his license. Marty's story became the center of podcasts and eventually was adapted into the Apple TV drama The Shrink Next Door with Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd. For a doctor to take advantage of someone that's coming to them for help is really disgusting. But Marty is now free of the doctor and is enjoying time with a new girlfriend. What are your thoughts on this case? Bro said this went on for 30 years. Do you know how long 30 years is? Oh my God. That story reminds me to tell you guys to evaluate the situations in your life and make sure you know the people that you're around. Russia found a sea monster in Antarctica. In 1974, Russian scientists at the Vostok Research Output Station discovered that there was actually a subglacial lake two miles beneath them, but it wasn't until 30 years later when they finally breached the ice. The first team of divers that explored the lake encountered a 33 foot long, 14 tentacle squid that released a toxin into the water to immobilize three members of the expedition team, eventually killing them. They then came back with backup and the scientists were able to then cage the creature. But when they returned to the surface, the creature whose name is now Organism 46B was actually seized by the Russian officials and the team was told to keep this quiet. To this day, nobody has any idea where Organism 46B is, but rumor has it the creature is being experimented on to become a weapon for the Russian military. I would not be surprised. A lot of these big countries, they just like to reverse engineer a lot of unknown substances, unknown things, and then use them as weapons. That's just human nature, honestly, if we're being for real. Today, I'm going to be talking about the chilling disappearance of Evelyn Hartley. On October 23rd, 1953, Evelyn went to babysit the 20-month-old Avigo Rasmussen. Now, every time Evelyn had a babysitting job, her dad would have her call and check in. This particular night, her dad wanted her to call at 8.30 exactly. And when she didn't call, he got concerned. Mm -hmm. So he tried calling the house and there was no response. So he waited a little bit longer. And when he still hadn't heard from her, he decided that he was gonna go to the house. Now when he arrived and knocked on the door, there was no answer despite lights being on and he could hear the radio. So he tried again, this time knocking more furiously, hoping that somebody would answer the door, but still no answer. Concerned why his daughter would not be answering the door, he decided to try and find another way in. He checked all doors leading inside and everything was locked until he came across the basement window, which the screen was off and it was sitting open. So he climbed in through that way, only to notice that there had been a ladder set up against the window on the inside so somebody could get in and out. Once inside the house, he decided to investigate. In the living room, furniture was moved around, Evelyn's books were all over the place, but still nobody was there. While investigating, he realized that every single door inside the house was locked. And thankfully, he came across a 20-month-old safely sleeping in her crib. Extremely concerned on his daughter's whereabouts, he immediately called the police. Once they arrived, they located her shoes in two different rooms, her broken glasses, as well as blood. Absolutely no possessions were missing. The only thing missing was Evelyn. When they mm. did a perimeter search, they found more blood outside, as well as a bloody handprint on a nearby garage. So they brought in some bloodhounds, which traced the blood a couple blocks away. And they theorized that she had been placed into a car and driven away wherever they were taking her. No. A couple days later, a resident called the police and told them that they had seen a car speeding away from that area. He had seen one man in the front seat, a man in the back seat, and a girl in the back seat leaning against the window. 
This led to a massive search of everybody looking for Evelyn. Police started checking cars in the town. They printed out 40,000 My Car Is Okay stickers. So once they checked somebody's backseat and trunk, they would put a sticker on their car. Several days later, various clothing items were found around the town, and some of them were covered in blood. One of the jackets that had been found, unfortunately, had Evelyn's blood type on it. In May of 1954, the police decided to do a mass lie detector test of high school boys to see if they could find more information on Evelyn. They planned on doing 1,750 tests, but they stopped at 300 mm. and still had no more information on Evelyn than they did before. After his arrest, it was suspected that maybe Ed Gein had something to do with her disappearance, but he absolutely denied any involvement in it. He passed lie detector tests, and after a search of his property, he was cleared. Despite this, some people still consider him a suspect. Throughout the years, multiple people tried coming forth about her disappearance, but were all eventually cleared. After about 25 years, her parents had completely given up hope of ever finding her again. To this day, Evelyn's case still remains unsolved. Damn! Who the hell took Evelyn? Hey, look, a pizza! Not this dude again. You gotta let him into your house now. As I said in my last video, that guy enters my house. I'm hitting him! Hey, yo. These are videos humans were never meant to see, part one. The video part that I'm one. about to show you shows what happens to being exposed to radiation for too long, which would then leave behind your shadow. Mm. But that's not the scary part about the video. The man who was doing the experiment in this video died three days after, but the scientist said it had nothing to do with the experiment. But it actually did, and he got radiation poisoning. I don't know what's going on. I'm waiting for like a bright flash. Okay. Damn, I thought it was gonna be at least a flash. There was nothing. Bro's shadow just remained imprinted into the wall. And yes, that is a real thing. You guys can look up the shadow people. Um, That's what happened when Japan dropped the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The people that were walking during the day, the radiation and heat from the bomb like syringed their, their shadows into the wall. It is crazy. Michael Jackson is still alive. Michael Jackson has always struggled with living a normal life. Due to his fame, he openly admitted that he always felt alone as no one ever really understood him and always wanted something out of him. So when he passed away, many people started speculating if he actually faked his death. Well, just after Michael's passing, a man called Dave Dave shows up, claiming that they were close friends. However, people are saying that he is in fact Michael Jackson with a reconstructed face. No way. And this clip shows why. And at the time, my, my favorite video games my favorite video game was pole position. Listen and look at the way Dave Dave speaks and acts. Does it remind you of anyone? Turn around. So could Dave Dave actually be Michael Jackson trying to live a normal life? And is it possible that- I don't think that's Michael Jackson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. I was like, there's no way this man Dave Dave is Michael Jack. I don't even know who Dave Dave is, but like, I know for a fact that's not Michael. That you won't fly commercial. Lucifer wears like many faces. With a bunch of demons. Why do you think that? No, listen to me this thing. Not the people. The main reason is because of the need of Inside Edition. You gotta get this now. Hey, you listen to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is, oh yeah. <laughs> Guy. Yo, he was bugging. That's gotta be a demon, bro. I'm sorry. That's gotta be a demon. Disturbing facts you didn't know about. <laughs> dolphins split into several groups for various purposes, like attacking other groups of dolphins and steal their females. Mm. And given the chance, dolphin will forcefully try and violate you men and women equally. They will kill their own baby or other baby dolphins to mate with the mother. 
<laughs> Fun fact, orcas do the same thing. And dolphins and orcas are actually one of the smartest living animals on this planet. Next to humans, of course. Next to us. Next to us. Because we reign supreme. But other than us, they're like up there. They're like probably second to third. Rare footage of the exorcism of Mori Stereo. Watch as his face starts to melt. His eye turns to that of the serpent. Scene of exorcism. Yo, bro's face looked like he was going through it. If you really sat there and looked at him, he was like, it looked like he wanted revenge on the earth. I didn't see the eye part though, but keep it pushing. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. What the? If you see someone looking at you through your own house door like that, please run and hide. What? If I'm in my own house, even if they don't look like me and they look at me like that, bro, I'm shooting you, bro. Oh, no. A movie that has been in at least 46 countries due to the graphic content. Watch at your own risk. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. A suburban wake up. Well, they didn't show us anything. So honestly, let's both look at what that film is together. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it online. What is this? I mean, if I, let's just click on that shit. Let's see what God itself brought you, son. Okay, let's get back to the video. Fuck that shit. How yeah, I'm not watching that. Sleep paralysis. How to wake up from sleep paralysis. I'm trying to wiggle your fingers and feet. Try to open and close your mouth or rub your tongue on the inside of your teeth. This can snap you awake. Recite mm. prayers in your mind. Count up to 100. Try to stay calm and relaxed. Remember you're laying in bed and safe. Have any of y'all ever had sleep paralysis before? Put that down in the comments. Dreamscapes. Mr. Sleep. What type of ghoul just came into this man's crib? I just saw a bro get up like, oh, shit. And then it's just like a big meat character just walking through like I'm some Attack on Titan type shit. The true events of Veronica. What the hell is going on? Yo, Veronica was tweaking. Bro, what the fuck was that? Scariest things said by serial killers. Uh, when did you decide to kill your mother? I decided that I did it. I decided and the method did it. you chose was what? Me over. Uh, uh, beating her to death. Beating her to death. And you, you beat her to death with what? Uh, sledgehammer. I love how all these serial killers just kill their moms with no regard. Like, y'all are weird. Like, that's weird. Did you know? The movie Veronica is one of the most terrifying movies in history. One in ten people can watch the entire movie without being afraid. But if you have a weak heart, you can die watching the movie. Veronica? Bro, we just saw a Serbian film. Ain't no... Bro, try to cut off his own... Bro. Ain't no way Veronica is scarier than that. All right, so we watching Veronica right now. Let's see how scary this is. Scary. What the hell? Nothing scary right Yo, what is that? Do y'all see that? In the what the hell? Oh my god. What was that? He's coming for you, bro. Every time, bro. Every time. She won't let me 
me sleep. Bro, leave me alone. What? Look at this. A bathroom with carpet. Never seen that before. What's that? Oh, I guess I'm just hearing things. Bro, y'all house be haunted as hell. All those videos is just some ha haunted ass shit happening in these niggas' houses. Like, get a witch doctor or something, because no one's house should be that creepy, bro. What the hell going on in y'all living space? What happens if you make eye contact with the Serbian dancing lady? Who the hell is a Serbian dancing lady? Hey, hey. Hey, 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 you down lady with it. Hey, hey. She's not trying to kill you. Ain't hey, no way. Shawty was just getting lit. Once she locks eyes with you, you're screwed. You're done. You're her next target and she will hunt you down. Yo, she was getting sturdy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, she was getting lit. Things humans weren't meant to see. A crab swimming. That man's not swimming, that man walking. What the hell? That man flying. So apparently crabs just fly underwater? That's quite interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Have you guys ever heard about the Mothman? Apparently nah. many people on the East Coast have seen this creature. The first I'm sighting the was in 1966 when five men were digging in a cemetery and they saw this large seven foot creature with a 10 foot wingspan. There have been many sightings in the areas surrounding Virginia and New York. They say that this creature I'm looks in New like York. a human being mixed with some moth-like features. Have you ever seen this Mothman before? Do you believe in him? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I never seen the Mothman. I've never actually heard about him. But if any of you guys seen him or heard him, put it down. If you seen him, you better tell me where or when. Look, just give me the whole story if you ever seen the Mothman. Cause I live in New York, and she said he's in New York, and I never seen him. And it be getting cold as hell up here. How the hell a Mothman be living in New York cold as hell? Creepy facts you did you know, know about, about anxiety. anxiety. <laughs> Anxiety can cause memory problems. Anxiety disorders increase risk of health complications. Well, I'll say for the most part, I feel like most people have anxiety. I feel like most people get kind of anxious. Cold hands and feet, that's understandable, but when you're in New York, it's cold 24 seven, so cold hands and feet is like normal. Creepy urban legends. You didn't know about didn't West, know Virginia. About West Virginia. Take me home, country road. Screaming West Jenny. Jenny, a poor woman with no family, lived along the B&O Railroad in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. One day, she was warming up broth over a campfire. A spark flew from the fire and caught her dress. No. As Jenny screamed for help, the fire grew bigger, engulfing her in flames. Damn, Jenny. In a last chance attempt, she fell onto the train tracks trying to get the attention of an approaching train. But it was too late, and the train hit Jenny. Damn, Jenny! Come on, Jenny. What the hell, Jenny? Jenny could have made it out, bro. <laughs> Jenny! Creepy facts you didn't, you know, didn't about. know about. A time traveler stated that on September 11, 2018, a man by the name of Janu Oliver Beck will be born. He said that he will be elected 56th president of the United States on November 3rd, 2082. Cap. We now have evidence that a boy was born on September the 11th of 2018 by the name of Joyner Oliver Beck. Just, just think about that for right in this second, like at this exact moment that you're watching this video, what do you think the president of 2082 is doing right now? Like if you could guess, if you could guess. What do you think he's doing? Oh no. The abandoned hospital no, doesn't no, look so no, abandoned. No, 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 no. Nah, them abandoned buildings at night be looking crazy. There's always lights on. So I'm like, bro, this is abandoned. Why the hell is there still electricity in this bitch? Like whose money is whose money is going towards this? <laughs> he's lit. That's such a me behavior right there. Boom, right hook. 
motherfucker just took her. That dude that gave her that right hook, like, me! Big round of applause to him. I tip my hat to you, bro. Part one. Parte one. Parate a one. Parti one. Prate one. Hell am I looking at? Some Five Nights at Freddy's camera work right now. What the hell? Yo, he better close that door before Freddy Frazbear coming in and murder his ass. What the hell? Nah, that's gotta be Chica. Chica the one that run, right? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Foxy. I think it's Foxy the one that run. I don't even know. Young secretary mysteriously vanishes. How? Did she run away or was there foul play? This is the haunting disappearance of Cynthia Anderson. Cynthia. In 1981, 20-year-old Cynthia Anderson, who went by Cindy, worked as a secretary for a legal office in Toledo, Ohio. Hmm. She was said to be really excited for the next chapter of her life. She was planning to quit her job soon to attend Bible college with her boyfriend. But in the past year, Cindy had been plagued with dreams she would be taken by a stranger, and she had reason to be on edge. Ten months before her disappearance, an unidentified person wrote, I love you, Cindy, by GW, on a wall in front of her office window. She was disturbed by it and said she didn't know anyone too. with those initials. Six months later, it was eventually covered up, but Cindy was even more creeped out when only a couple weeks later, it appeared again, even bigger and more visible than before. Police investigated several people with the initials GW, including a maintenance man that worked in the building, but there was no evidence to tie him to it. And Cindy also started receiving numerous harassing phone calls at the office. Her coworkers advised her to lock the doors at all times. On August 3rd, 1981, a coworker of Cindy's said that she received another two strange phone calls. He said she hung up and had a look of horror on her face. The following day, August 4th, Cindy arrived to the legal office per usual at 8.30 a.m. And as advised, she kept the doors locked. But at noon, two co-workers arrived to find the office empty. They called out for Cindy, but she was nowhere to be found. Even stranger, they checked Cindy's desk and found the book she was reading to be on a disturbing page. It read of a woman being taken. The only missing items were Cindy's car keys and purse. There was no evidence of forced entry or struggle in the office. Police checked and no calls were answered past 10 a.m., so it's believed something happened around this time. Some thought she ran away, but her family says she would have never done that. And the large amount of money that was in Cindy's bank account has never been touched. A month after Cindy disappeared, police received an anonymous tip from a woman whispering about where Cindy was being held. The tipster sounded nervous and refused to give her name, but she said that Cindy was in a basement of a White House. The tipster gave no address, and when police asked for more information, she hung up. She then called back minutes later and then hung up again. And she never called back. Cindy has never been seen or heard from again. Sadly, 40 years later and the question still remains, what happened to her? It seems to me that she had a premonition about what was coming. What are your thoughts? Yo, what happened to my girl Cindy? This is what I'm talking about, bro. Life as a female be so weird because like mostly if you're an attractive female, there's always just some weird dude trying to like hit on you or something. And then next thing you know, you're just gone. You're kidnapped. Like where even are you? Disturbing things caught on security cameras, part four. This 2018 footage shows a woman setting up a security camera after hearing weird sounds outside of her bedroom window. The recording shows a man she had never seen before walking up to her bedroom window and try to look inside. After a few seconds, the man would notice the camera and quickly walk away, but shortly after, he would return and steal the camera. The woman believes this man that she caught on camera had been looking into her bedroom window for at least three weeks. Bro, imagine you're just sleeping and you looked at the window you see a motherfucker. Hello. Bro. These are some extremely unsettling facts. Part 47. All these on Reddit. In Louisiana, there's a bit of an urban legend about this shack that's located in the middle of nowhere. It's called the Devil's Toy Box. And apparently it's very widely believed that the people that go inside of this box will lose their mind. There's been mm. a couple of documented cases about this. And if you're more interested about it, I highly urge you to go check it out because it's a very interesting legend. Do you know why refrigerated doors are magnetic? Because the reason may shock you. Before the Refrigerated Door Safety Act of 1956, yes, that is a real thing. Fridges would only be able to be open 
entertained by pulling on them from the outside. So on a few different occasions, kids would be out playing hide and seek, having a good time together when they would go hide in an abandoned fridge. Again, yes, this is real. They would go inside and they would never get caught. And of course, they would die inside. This is a picture of Jolie Collin. It was taken by her ex-boyfriend one day when they went to go on a hike together. But unfortunately, moments after this photo was taken, Jolie's ex-boyfriend would shoot her. And wow. she would die. He would later be sentenced to 52 years in prison. That one always your own riles bitch. me up and gets me very scared. And frankly, all these do, but it makes sense because how you kill your own girl? If she ain't cheating, if she ain't freaking your dad or her best friend, if she ain't messing with you, why you going to eliminate her? Photos with, with disturbing, disturbing backstories, part 18. 18. Vacationing with the person you love can have long-lasting positive effects both mentally and physically. But this selfie photo of the happy couple holds a really disturbing backstory. In June 2018, Hakai Yasel and his wife Sermra Yasel, who was seven months pregnant, were on a holiday in Turkey. Hakan wanted to visit a popular tourist cliff in Butterfly Valley. Sermra, who was seven months pregnant at the time and afraid of heights, didn't want to make the hike because Hassan insisted that she went. Once there, Hakan would make his wife wait an astonishing three hours until the area was clear of visitors. In the photo, you see Sermra obviously happy to be pregnant and beginning a family with her husband. But minutes after this photo was taken, the man holding the camera unalived his wife Sermra. He initially told the authorities his wife lost her footing and tripped over the edge, but later admitted to pushing her into an attempt to cash in on her life insurance policy. In this video taken by Taurus, you can see Hakan leading his wife down to the cliff's edge. Damn, bro, what the freak is wrong with you? It's your whole wife. Hakan was sentenced to life in prison for his sinister act. Fuck that nigga. This man killed his whole wife, his whole seven month pregnant wife. He was about to have a beautiful family with just for a life insurance policy, just for a couple hundred K. Come on, man. That's not what a man does. Caution before I actually show you this before I actually show you this man. It's true. This is the police sketch of who has been named as the Cape Intruder. All of this what dates the back to 2005 in Cape Elizabeth, Maine, where there was a person who looks like this, who was reportedly breaking into people's homes and watching them sleep. Like people described what? that they would wake up right in the early mornings and the first thing they would see was this man standing in their room and the second they saw him, he would just bolt, like run out of the house. He never killed anybody, he never stole anything. He just like watched people. And the last recorded break in was so weird. 2006 when he suddenly seemed to stop and they never caught this guy. What's ironic and kind of disturbing about the photo is that he is a watcher and it almost feels like when you're looking at it he's watching you bro if i ever saw a guy in my house oh my god he would get the beat down of a lifetime <laughs> Scary stalkers caught on camera. This video shows a girl while recording a man with a face mask following her on the road. Initially, she thought that he might be someone walking in the same direction, so she slowed down to let him walk past her, but the guy slowed down with her. For 45 minutes, the girl walked in circles around several blocks until she arrived at a skating park and approached uh, a group of strangers. She asked them this to man help is her literally what was going on, finally getting rid of the man when someone tried to confront him about his action. Bro, following her so hard you would have thought that nigga was Secret Service, bro. I was like, yo, that's Secret Service. Hell no, he's stalking her, weird. But he's doing it so obvious, I don't even count that as stalking. I would just count that as like just harassment. Like you're just harassing me. Like you're not even trying to stalk me at this point. You're just straight up harassing me. Like These are scary things to do with your friends, part four. Okay, so there's this very scary game called Cat Scratch that you can play with your friends. To play the game, you need at least two people and then you sit on the floor and the other friend then lies on their back with their head in your lap. Mm. Next, you rub your friend's tempo in a soothing motion while you tell them a scary story. Mm. This is the story you're supposed to say out loud. So just screenshot it real quick. All right, let's pause this. Okay. There once was an old lady who owned a cat. The cat was very nice. It meowed, it purred. One day, the cat got hit by a car and died. No. Cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. The old lady got a new cat. The cat was very mean. It hissed and it clawed. Cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. One day, the cat got hit by a car and died. The old lady decided to not get any more cats. Uh, cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. Now, after you finish that story, the person lying down has to get up very quickly and okay. then pull up the back of their shirt. Red bloody claw marks will <laughs> on the back, and they won't even feel a thing. 
Yeah, the thing about me is I will never play no game like that. Like, I don't like playing the Ouija board, all that. Like, what's the point of me doing that? Like, I know it might be fake, it might be real, but why would I really want to test the limitations on that? Like, I don't care enough to figure out if I'm opening a portal for demons. Hey, look, Bro, pizza. Bro, I've seen this. You gotta let him into your house now. Bro, I've seen this guy at least 10 times now. Like, I already told y'all what I was doing, like my other three videos for this man. Like, I would really not come out, bro. So we talked about Cartoon Cat the other day, but now let's talk about Cartoon Dog. Cartoon, Cartoon Dog, Dog is another one of Trevor Henderson's creations. If you guys want me to do a whole series on Trevor Henderson's monsters, then let me know because they are so fascinating, I'm literally obsessed. This is the first picture of Cartoon Dog to surface on Trevor's Instagram back in 2018. This is the full version right here, and what's very disturbing about this creature is the fact that for arms he has legs, and for legs he, he has, has arms. arms. This is the second picture of Cartoon Dog to surface on Trevor's Instagram, and this one is very creepy because it literally looks like he's coming to attack. Mm -hmm. It said that Cartoon Dog is the only other creature in the cartoon species along with Cartoon Cat. It's unknown exactly how Cartoon Dog attacks his victims, but it's rumored that he eats people's heads. What? Just like Trevor's other popular monsters, Cartoon Dog has made his way into several popular YouTube videos. Jester is literally one of my favorite YouTubers. Here's some more care. right here. And this one, I'm about to watch this later because it looks good. What y'all think about Cartoon Dog? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. Like, what the hell was that? Creepy things seen Call. on TV. Yo, this man always be moving like that in the background. Like, who's that? Please welcome Jason. Yeah! It's Juice War! Please welcome Jason. Jason? That looks like the real Jason, not gonna lie. In 1989, Mass Unaliver Jason Voorhees took a break of the terrorizing neighborhoods to speak with How are you? some dude. <laughs> That's good. Uh... You know what I've noticed? I see all your movies, man. And you know what I've really noticed? <laughs> You're Why he angry. got a hatchet in his hand, bro? <laughs> and I, I don't mean to laugh, excuse me, it's just the way I am. But you're, 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 you're angry. What happened, man? Where did it all begin? Was it a woman? Uh, did you get cut from the hockey team in high school? What? Yeah, nah, that was weird, but I was low-key expecting Jason to like just get up on it. Shut up, Nick. Me, me. But like he didn't do that. Good thing, good thing. It's better he did, didn't do it than he did do it. Although it would have definitely made that video more entertaining. But like, let's just have, just let's just be grateful he didn't do that. Something is going on at the University of Idaho. Okay, so if you haven't heard about the story, police responded to a 911 call of this house where they said there was one person inside who was unconscious. When they mm. get there, there are four students inside who were stabbed and deceased. Like the entire Damn. house was a bloodbath. Was literally pooling out the sides of the foundation. You can look up pictures of this. These are the four students who were found in the home, and we think that the stabbings took place sometime between maybe three to four in the morning on Sunday. We just don't know why. They actually posted this picture on Instagram earlier that day, like all four of them were friends. We even have security footage of them around like 1 a.m., like two hours before these stabbings where they're out getting food, and the cashier said they were fine, like not in distress. To two of the other roommates who are alive, the ones who called 911, they were in the home at the time of the stabbings and did not call 9 one, one for eight hours. Mm. It's a lot more that's gonna come from this story. He said there was literal blood gushing out of the house. You know how crazy that is? Like, if you think about it, one human body is probably like a lot of water because we're like 80% water. So that should have been like a bloodbath. That's disgusting, bro. Bridge worm. Bridge worm is a creature created by horror artist Trevor Henderson. And although Bridgeworm is a made-up creature, his backstory is creepy. 
When Trevor mm. Henderson released his first picture of Bridgeworm, he stated that in 2018, a photographer by the name of Thomas had recently gone missing. A while after he'd gone missing, his camera was found, and the last photo on his camera roll was this photo right here. The hell is that? Bridgeworm peeking through a tunnel. Ew. The story goes that the photographer Thomas came upon Bridgeworm, snapped a photo of him, and then was eaten by him. Bridgeworm tricks his victims by looking like a cute worm at first, and then his face peels back to reveal this, his true form. It's said that his favorite snack is humans, so I don't advise any of you to go near bridges at night. That's some ghoul ad behavior, bro. Bro said that he looks very innocent and then he eats you. <sighs> it's not eating me, bro. I got too much to live for. You're not eating me, gangsta. I'll beat the Jesus out of you. I'm starting this new challenge. Anyone that watches my video to the end, and if you find a clip that's funny and you repost it on TikTok or Instagram, and if it goes viral, I'm personally giving away $50 to that person. So you can just send your clips down at, at not fitty on my Instagram. I'm gonna check and see whoever sent any videos and boom you just won fifty dollars the clip goes viral so make sure you guys enter that challenge and thank y'all for watching remember to subscribe and like the video i'm back it's your boy f-i-t-t-i-t-d-e and today we're watching this compilation together so grab your water your popcorn ice cream whatever you want just remember to subscribe and like the video please like the video to get pushed more people and if you like my chain check my link down below this preacher is the creepiest person you'll see today just watch to the I end thought, is the preacher possessed i'm not missing that dedication in jerusalem Without the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry, and I didn't pay anywhere. And Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. Well, my question then. Well, well okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. I love your eyes. Do you ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay. Again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. Mm. We wrestle not mm. with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you explain what you meant by that? That by that term, then just just explain because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? Nah, he definitely said that. You saw how you try to play that off, like no, I did. But if you really, bro, we we know you believe that, bro. This guy might have encountered La Llorona. Watch mm. to the end. You can fully hear a woman crying. Of course, I am alone and terrified. I heard a clicking noise coming from under the bridge. I decided to go investigate it. That's some Caucasian. <laughs> it stopped as soon as I got near. Something doesn't feel right here. It's so quiet. I am starting to feel a presence nearby. Why does it feel so evil here? It feels like something truly bad is here. Unfortunately, I was right. I think she is here. What was that? I can see a woman coming out of the water. I don't know what I should do. What the hell is going on? She seems very upset but looks angry. I think it's time to leave. She's coming towards me. La Llorona is the ghost of a vengeful what woman. The Back in the day, it was said that she was responsible for drowning her two children. The spirit of her is still alive and lurks near bodies of water. You can often hear her just crying over the death of her children. So do you think that he encountered her? Let me know in the comments below. Nah, I've said this in other videos, bro, but I don't understand the people that be like, whoa, I heard a weird noise, a weird scream, a weird anything. Let me go investigate it. Let's go, let's go. You should not overtake this yellow Volkswagen. Deep in Malaysia, along the Carrots Highway, there is a supernatural entity that takes the form of a yellow Volkswagen waiting for its next victim. Legend has it that the driver of the vehicle found out one day that his wife was having an affair and had left with everything that belonged to him. With revenge on his mind, he jumped into his yellow Volkswagen Beetle and sped down the highway in an attempt to find his wife. However, he soon lost control of the vehicle and perished in a horrific car wreck. Well, it is said that till this day, his angry spirit still roams the highway in search of his wife. The yellow Volkswagen is said to appear in front of motorists and will slowly reduce its speed, challenging highway users to overtake. 
Be careful, because if you do, the yellow Volkswagen will have you trapped, going in loops along the highway, never being able to reach your destination. Now, interestingly enough, people still don't know that. I love how he pronounced Volkswagen. He was like, the fourth swack him. But nah, me personally, if that thing's following me, bro, I'm running him off of the road. Real shit. Sorry. This would freak me out too. Started off as a cute snap, but ended scary. Now I'm scared. <laughs> what you doing? What the hell? What you see? What? Hmm? What you see? Hi. Hmm? Uh-uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. Yo, that baby was tripping. I wonder what she actually saw though. Put it down in the comments. My soul left my body ready at the for end. Bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Here I go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? Mm. What? Oh God! Fuck! Yo, imagine. Yeah, good thing she got them dogs. Imagine getting married only to be decapitated by your husband three months later. 21-year-old couple Jared and Angie got married in October 2022. Around 4 p.m. on the 11th of January, police were called to their home in Texas. Police made a grim discovery in the pair's bathroom after finding, quote, what appeared to be the head of the victim to be in the shower, Ooh. end quote. Angie's body was discovered on the floor near the bed in a pool of blood with multiple stab wounds to her back. It was actually Jared's poor parents that initially made this discovery after entering the home. They then obviously alerted police to what they found. Jared was arrested and has confessed to killing his wife with a kitchen knife. Jared was actually captured on CCTV, casually stealing a bottle of beer from Angie's workplace just minutes after mm. it's believed that he killed her. Angie's friends have reported to police that the couple's relationship was toxic and Jared was very controlling. Jared's bond is currently set at $500,000. Come on, Jared, bro. What are you doing? If she's toxic, leave. This man, Jared, is stuck in this relationship that he eliminates her. Now he's $500,000 bond stuck in prison, bro. Come on, Jared. Disturbing things caught on camera, part one. You were helping our friends celebrate moving in when we noticed. Mm. You just moved in? Sorry, time to move out. That's a demon. That is a full on demon. If I can follow for part two. Do y'all think that's a demon? Put that down in the comments. I think it might've been a camera glitch if I'm being honest. People now think there's drone footage that confirms that this ghost is real. Oh my God. So since the 1980s, locals in Canuck Chase in the UK have claimed to see the ghost of a black eyed little girl in the woods. Multiple witnesses have reported seeing a little girl with soulless black eyes and a crooked neck popping out of the woods. Mm -mm. Some say she's searching for her mother and others say that she feels demonic. But now reports are saying that a drone may have caught a photo of her. This is the image that was captured this week and people are saying they think this is the girl. Here's a close up image of it where you can see her hair, you can see her crooked neck and you can see the black eyes. But what do you think? Is it her? Yo, what would y'all do? Imagine just walking outside the house one day, you see some girl black eyes. Like, what would you do? I don't even know what I would do. Big buck or something. The rake sighting in Ohio, February 19, 2023. That's not a bug, dude. That's a dude, dude. Yo, go, 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 this is one of the scariest ghost stories I've heard, so now everyone's got to hear it. Back in 2003, there was this group of deployed American Marines who got moved into abandoned military housing that was dubbed Ghost Town. It got the name because apparently the first group of Marines that lived there only made it a week before they couldn't live there anymore. They said they couldn't sleep the entire time they were there. Like all night, they would hear the sounds of children laughing, of like footsteps upstairs when there was no one there. I talk about it this week on the podcast, but one night, the new group that had moved in had to go out and patrol the area. So they're walking through the neighborhood, like past a bunch of abandoned houses. And then all of a sudden, one of the Marines just starts screaming. Mm. He throws his weapon down and just takes off running, like through enemy territory with no weapon. 
So half of the He's Marines bugged. chase after him, and then the other half turn around to see what he was screaming at. They said that behind them, there was this creature that looked like a shadow come to life. It was really tall and skinny, but they said it had these bright glowing red eyes. But before they knew what to do, it just vanished. The craziest part is that multiple other people have reported seeing this exact creature like in the area. If you want to hear more of these stories, you've got to check out the podcast this week. Part where he ran over to the enemy's side, like they were like his best friends or something. Now that was like, what? That's an interesting story. I swear the creepiest stuff always happens in hospitals. So Katrina was a nurse in the pediatric oncology part of the hospital. And she was looking after this one little boy that was in rough shape. It seemed like his treatments weren't working anymore, but despite all this, he stayed in pretty good spirits. And he would always wear his Spider-Man costume. Like every day, always in the Spider-Man costume. I had Sadly, one of those. The little boy eventually passed away from his cancer. But then, a few months later, a teen boy gets admitted down the hall. And this was after the little boy had already passed away, so there was no overlap between the two. Mm. This boy was also in pretty rough shape and his treatments weren't working anymore. But then one night, a nurse hears him talking to someone inside of his room, but there's no one there. So the nurse goes in to see who he's talking to, and she can't believe what he says. The teen said he just saw a little boy dressed as Spider-Man in his room talking to him. And this little boy was telling him all about Marvel and all about how much he loves Spider-Man. The teen boy ended up passing away a few weeks later, but that story always stuck with the nurses. Bro was hallucinating, not gonna lie. He was probably so close to death that his brain just started playing tricks on him. That is possible. It's possible. Watch this. What is happening here? <laughs> For 130 abandoned flats, and there is something in the window. Yo. You see movement then? Move the light. Oh, Yo. 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 Yo, leave! Bro, people need to know when to leave. If I see something in the window moving, bro, let's just go the other way. Why are we, why are we investigating it? Why? What the Mysterious heck is that? Mysterious creature floats in a river. Mysterious okay. creature floats in a river near a village in Indonesia. What is that? Measuring at 23 meters long and four meters wide, it is said that many people were going missing when they went into the river. I have no words. I'm never swimming ever again. No. For a second, I thought it was a dragon. I'm not going to lie. I was like, yo, who's dragging this at? But then I was like, oh, this is real life. Those don't exist. You're not going to believe what this guy accidentally caught on camera. Watch carefully. Oh, no. He's zooming on that bike. What the hell is that? Did y'all see that? It's a pale humanoid figure lurking in the background. Bro encountered like Slender Man or something. Let me know what you guys think this is in the comments below. I mean, in my head, I don't really think it was anything crazy. It might have just been like a stick figure or just some sticks or something. I feel like that one was a little bit over exaggerated if I do say so myself. I really don't think I'm ever gonna be able to see this shit. Listen to me. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. It's my kitchen. And here we go with this shit again. I'm just gonna wait and see how long it goes on. It's never not. Stop! Okay, that works. Okay, so it seems to be wanting to happen now more in the afternoon, but just to prove that there's nothing just there. Jesus Christ. This is the cord in question, the coax cable, and it, you can see here, it goes directly from here down to my Wi-Fi, so... I could, I guess, open it like this. It's an old building, so in front of every apartment, they've had to uh, drill holes and then feed these in through, you know, all this to kind of update it. But this building was built in 1932, and if you can't tell, hasn't really been updated too much since 1932. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Uh uh. Uh uh. No. Oh. <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's hitting so hard that the house is vibrating. That's physical force. I think bro just needs to move out, bro. Nah, that one was kind of weird. Don't forget a pack, we're leaving in a few days. Suitcase is in the attic. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. <laughs> said what? Turn it off. Bro, imagine you're just getting a like snack or something, and then you see like a clone of you. Oh my god, I'm fine. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. <laughs> I don't think you want to check behind there. Yo, that's scary, bro. I'd be like, these are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. I'm back, it's your boy F-I-T-T-I to the E, and today we're looking at this compilation together, so make sure to grab your water, your popcorn, your fruit snacks, whatever you want. Just remember to subscribe, like the video. If you like my chain, check my link down below. He was right, see the following evidence. What y'all doing about this? Off, and there's the reason why I'm getting the fuck off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling you right now. now That clip actually has been going viral. So who knows what she saw? She might have saw alien on the plane. She might have not. But they're saying it's an alien that she saw some alien. They are here. Who the hell is that?
which user Checo4U was streaming some gameplay on Twitch with his friend when suddenly something creepy was captured on his camera. Ay, cabrón. Chale, si se ve medio erizo, eh. Que te... <laughs> Ay, me asustó tu voz, Checho. <laughs> es que tengo que yeah. alto el Discord. Ay, me asustó tu voz, Checho. <risa> es que tengo que superar el Creo que sí, güey. La luz de atrás se prendió. Someone points out the light. No, es que ni cosa. Eh. Casi es cierto, güey. No way, it's actually on, dude. No hay alguien, ¿no? There's no one there, right? Quiero creer que sí, quiero creer there, que sí. <risa> no, pues estoy solo acá arriba, I'm yo. Alone güey, upstairs, de verdad, dude. o sea, vivo solo acá I arriba. I live alone up here. No, es neta, miren. Look at this, Estoy I'm trembling. Estoy temblando, se lo juro. Voy a apagarla porque no va a quemar. I'm gonna turn it off, I'm scared. The light turns on by itself, but that's just the beginning. Oh. No, es espérate, güey. Ahora sí se escuchó. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Fue la puerta de tu cuarto. No sé, güey, pero espérame. I'm not sure, but wait, I heard something. Broom that was in the bathroom just. Jalador del baño al piso, se los juro. Se los juro que no hay nada que pase. No hay nada que pase. Literal, estoy solo, pero me acaban de tirar. Literal, just fell on his own like this. No, yo creo que ya. I think I'm done playing. A little uneasy by the sudden turn of events, Checo considers ending the stream, but ends up capturing something chilling instead. Oh. Déjame ir a dejar esta más. Let me put this back. I swear I'm trembling right now. Oh! Wait, oh shit, I thought it was someone. <laughs> Let me turn this off real quick and play something else. Just so. It happened right here. I don't believe in stuff like that, but. LOL I just turned off the game I don't want to play anymore It dropped even louder this time What the hell Checo? Are you there? Okay, that's it It's getting really weird I'm gonna have to end the stream Because I'm spooked a creepy face peers out from behind yeah, the corner that was weird. and vanishes the moment Checo goes in front of the camera to sit down. What do y'all think was going on in bro's background? Because even that's confusing me. I'm like, yo, why is this man's broom falling? His lights turning on? A random face popped out? What do y'all think? Leave that down in the comments. Oh, no. What is that? Yo, he's getting flashed, bro. Yo. Why are you biting the metal, bro? What are you doing? Yep, that's what happens when you take too much. If you know, you know. Everybody knows something's up. Everybody knows. That is not normal. That looks cool. Everyone is looking up, wondering why the sky is split. Oh. Look. 
sky is broken. And everybody knows something fishy, don't you? Fishy, ain't it? <laughs> you know, that's the first time I ever seen this. That's right. In my opinion, it was beautiful. I just think it was the sky doing sky things. I mean, for what, what else could it be? Aliens? If it was, I mean, we already know aliens are real, so. This is a video it's called a Gumbergus video, which is a close up of a craft. So close that you can see the occupants. It is 100% real, and I was there as it was shown. They're here, boys. I've been trying to tell y'all, these aliens not playing, bro. They're coming. I don't know if they're here to kill us, but, like, hopefully they're here to just, you know, tell us, yo, chill out with the nukes. Chill. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here um, I am solo camping. This is Deschutes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time so I thought first of the season I should pull that out give it a give it a go it's about that time sun is setting it's about eight o'clock should be dark out here in less than an hour need a little bit over there to the trees beautiful night definitely gonna be turning in early though Yo, for a sec when he was in that tent, I thought someone was actually attacking him. I was like, yo, this man's about to die. But he escaped and then he saw Slenderman. Yeah. What is he running from? Oh, what is 
is that? They got this man in 4K. That was like a potential Bigfoot sighting, bro. What? What do y'all think that was? Put that down in the comments. You know, at least I'll say, at least he didn't stop to investigate it. At least he just kept pushing it. He was like, no, I don't know what that is. I'm going to keep going. I don't care what it is. I'm not investigating it. Big round of applause to that guy. Mm -mm. What would you do if you ever saw that? Like a random hand just reach over your TV like, hello, buddy. What is that? She almost jump scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Should we pay? Should we go up there? I don't hear it anymore. Please don't investigate. Please don't investigate. Come on, bro. Just go the other way, bro. At least they dipped. Man, I told y'all to keep it pushing, bro. Bro wanted to investigate so bad, and then he finally found the monster he was looking for. At least he left. I will say that. At least he left. He wasn't like, whoa, let me go investigate. There, there. So, you know, big round of applause for him for leaving. These are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. Is here? This is creepy as, what the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? Oh! Back! Back! Yeah, this is package. I don't, I don't have package. 
The other day, me and a bunch of friends decided to go explore a park that was located nearby all of our houses. And in the creepy back area, we found a lot of coffins. And we got curious and opened one, and there were spikes inside. And it reminded me of one of those medieval Iron Maidens. And then we found this table nearby. It looked like one of those tables that you like tie people to and uh, torture them. So, uh, mad sketch. Maybe if you blow this up, we'll come back at night. <laughs> I like that. He said, maybe if you blow this up, we'll come back another time. But I don't know why the coffin had spikes. Bro, is that like a coffin junkyard? Like, where do, where do you even find those? Okay, so remember that story of the adult woman posing as a child to murder her adoptive family? Well, yes, Investigation sir. Discovery just made a documentary about the whole event, and it is shocking. I think the biggest takeaway is that Natalia wasn't some evil mastermind. She was being severely abused by the Barnett family. And there's one scene in the documentary that just, like, really stands out to me. So the Barnett's had Natalia aged up 14 years to 22 years old so they could put her in this apartment that was definitely not ADA compliant. And the mom, Christine, would drive her Cadillac up to this low income apartment, drop off the groceries that she bought for her and would make Natalia carry them inside. She wouldn't even get out of the car to help. So this video was taken by Michael, the dad. And one day he comes into the apartment and sees that Natalia has donuts. And he starts losing his mind. He's like, who brought you these donuts? We didn't buy you donuts. You always lie to us. You never tell us the truth. Tell me who got you these donuts right now. And while she's getting yelled at, she looks terrified as if disobeying the Barnett's was like the worst thing she could do. Even though at this point, they're saying she's 22 years old and living on her own, like just leave her be. Literally. It turns out that Michael knew that Child Protective Services had been called to Natalia's apartment because the neighbors noticed that she was not being taken care of. But why are you worried about CPS, Michael, if you're not doing anything wrong and she's not a child? Another really sad takeaway from the documentary is that Michael's child, Jacob, who was like this wonderkind who got his PhD at 14 years old, 14? was so traumatized by the whole event of his parents neglecting and abusing Natalia that he now just lives in his dad's basement and is not really putting all of his genius to Damn. use. I could go on for much longer about this documentary, but let me know if you watched it and what you thought. I didn't really watch the documentary myself, but I heard about this case and it's quite interesting how she looks 22 while also looking like five. I mean, hey. I don't make the rules. This woman had a terrifying real encounter with the Serbian dancing lady. Her mm. name is Mariana, and she is a Serbian local. This took place in 2019 with the original Serbian dancing lady. This the woman OG. was caught chasing people with a knife. Well, one night, Mariana was rushing to the hospital because one of her family members just got admitted. Mm. Just as she turned down a back road to the hospital, she saw someone in the middle of the road. She began flashing her headlights and honking her horn to try and get them to move. She slowly got closer and noticed that it was an old lady in traditional clothes, dancing. She got out of her car with her car keys in hand and slowly approached the woman. She started asking for help and then she noticed that the woman had a knife in her left no. hand. At that moment, the woman stopped dancing, turned around, and put up the knife. So Mariana turned around and started running towards her car, but she dropped her car key. Part two coming soon. I'm sorry, I'm running out of time. That reminds me of those scary movies where they'd be running, they're like, oh, oh, and then they fall. It's like, oh, no, you folded up. Do you have Don't let your kid me? interact with dark entities. Do you see it? Bam man. Bam man. He apparently sees a man in there. What's a bear man? Hey, yo. A big man? Saying that's a big man, like there's been multiple clips where I saw babies just like looking at entities. I mean, I don't even know what they're really seeing because babies just be tripping. Like, if I'm being honest, been doing can anyone else see the shadow on the stairs today? It's, stop, hey buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. Oh. You gotta cut it out. Who the hell is this dude talking to? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna set it up with the towels and we'll just let the phone roll. I asked it, you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. You gotta go, you gotta go. Calm down. At that point, just keep the door open, bro. Just keep the door open. Don't lock it again, please. <laughs> he locks it again. <laughs> Little bunny. 
at that point just leave the door open like if it's just gonna keep closing and opening why close it <laughs> just leave it open if the ghosts want to come up let him come up eat some dinner you know check out the family so what's up since you want to live with us now hello there boys and girls my name is cheetah and this is my pal mr cupcake mm. bonjour children it's I don't know how I feel about Mr. Cupcake. Y'all on this nice and lovely day. Say, I heard that some of you don't know any of your colors. Well, don't you worry. Your favorite and lovable chicken will help you. Her eye is just not connected to her other eye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Um. We'll be going over the main six colors. Like the ones you see on a nice, lovely rainbow in the sky. These are the colors we'll be learning so about. Eerie. Red, orange, yellow, Indeed. green, it is very eerie. blue, and And What is that? The first color we're going to talk <clears throat> about is red. Red is the color of so many things in the world. Things like What's that face in the back? Apples, stop signs, Don't say blue. and even fire trucks. The next color is orange. Say, did you know that there is a fruit that is called an orange? And it's no way. Really? Orange as well. I'm dead. <laughs> I should have the same thing. Interesting. Ah, interesting, Chica. Oranges, the finest fruit of them all. So tasty and delicious. <laughs> Mr. Cupcake, please. We need to stay on track here. She's so tall. Low key. Oh. No, no. No. This is also the color for carrots, pumpkins, and basketball. Hey. Why, even my beak is orange. Fun fact, if you mix red Whoa. and yellow in together, it makes orange. The color orange. Speaking of yellow, yellow. that's our next color to talk about. Yellow is oh. one of my most favorite colors of all. And why is that, madame? Yeah. Why? Because I'm yellow, that's why. <laughs> yellow and red with blood. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No. It's a nice, bright, and happy color. Used for sunflowers, bananas, bees, and. And Freddy's ugly and that, ass. And Freddy himself. Oh, no. Get that off my screen. Oh. Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Put that down in the comments. This is terrifying. Scary footage of Night Shift Worker alone. Five Nights at Freddy's in real life? No, no. Hola? Hola. No money. <clears throat> Bro, so I got no money for you. Don't rob me. baby? No mames. Uy, güey, se escucha un bebé. Yo, leave. No mames. Güey, güey. Yo, no mames. What does that even mean, no mami? So what is that gonna do? Shut the kid up? Mm -hmm. Bro saying no mommy like the kid's gonna be like, oh sh no mommy? Oh I gotta stop crying. Come on bro, what was that? A woman heard a noise in the attic? Keep watching on this day, May 30th, 2021. She looked like she wants to get rescued. Damn, at the end you could kind of see a face. Uh, that's airy, bro. That's airy, man. Who are you? Please help me in. Huh? Please help me. What? What the What's hell is that? It did this to me. <laughs> what? It took my daughter. Burger? Please help me in. Burger? 
Bro, you come up to my door like that, best believe I am not helping you. Don't come up to my door coming up on some... Oh, yeah. My daughter is missing, please. Bro, that's how you get robbed. Fake delivery guy tries to break in. I don't have package. Damn. Mmm. The way how I would hit bro with a crazy back kick it would be crazy. Oh, watch this. Let's pretend for a second you're the, you're that guy. I'd be like, oh, oh, bah! right in his face. Gone. K O. Real ghost. What the hell is that head? Who is there? I saw that too. You're not tripping, lady. What was that? Oh my god. Why does she have the camera on though? Well, I will say, you know, I did see the head too, but why she had the camera on pre-head? Hmm. Okay. The yeah, tree in my yard can talk and move. I just talked to a tree. Uh -huh. Yes, I talked to a tree. I saw it on mm -hmm. TikTok, so I went to my backyard and I talked to a tree and it responded to me. And I called my sister. She's not picking up the phone, but I need you guys to see this. Okay, there is nothing on the side of me. There's nothing on the side of me, nothing okay, above me. Okay. 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 Tree, if you can hear me, touch my shoulder. <laughs> oh! <sighs> okay. Tree, did you guys see that? I if saw you that. Can hear me, touch my shoulder. Oh, it's touching her shoulder. Oh Thank you. Tree. If you if can hear me, me touch, touch my shoulder. My shoulder. Head up. Oh my god, it's touching her shoulder. Fine. I am shook. Sure. Alright, let's be real. Bro, first of all, trees don't even speak English. It's not like going to be like, oh, she said shoulder. She, I know where that is. Bro, that's obviously fake. Come on now. Don't play me like that. I'm not a fool. Bro was just peacefully watching the distance, and next you know he's getting chased by a werewolf. Like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? He said, hello? What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there somebody here? Oh, I would just leave if I was This is creepy as... What the hell? Is no one there here? is gonna be like, I'm here, sir. I'm here. Just leave, bro. Just leave. What is that? Oh! It's literally like I just said. No one there is gonna be like, I'm here. I'm here. The monster is not gonna be like, I'm here. Like, just leave, bro. You, you suspicious? You think something's there? That's your cue to leave. Yes. Yes. Bro's having a war with this werewolf. God damn. At this point, I'm surviving. You're still alive, bro. Them should just be fast, quick, and destructive. Ghosts? Oh, no. Yeah, do the dash. Do the dash. Yeah, good thing he ran away and the video ended, so we don't know what happened. That'd be crazy if bro ended up eliminated because of his stupid actions, but he actually ran away, so I'd say that's pretty smart, other than the fact that you went down there. Love you. These are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality.
Let's talk about this picture. This is why if I ever have kids, I'll never let them use the bathroom alone. A seven-year-old girl and her mom were headed to Target, and she was okay. getting some clothes for school. Her mom also wanted to grab some <coughs> snacks for movie night. So while her mom went to go grab popcorn and other snacks, she told her daughter to go pick out clothes for school. When her daughter finally finished and picked out the clothes, she went up to her mom and said, Why is broke cutting a cantaloupe? A sad <laughs> lady had came up to her, telling her that she wished she could have her own daughter that looked just like her. The mom, who thought the daughter was just joking around, laughed it off and said, let's go. While heading to the register, the daughter shook her mom and said, that's the lady who told me she wanted a daughter just like me, mm. pointing at a mannequin. The mom laughed, thinking the daughter was still being silly. You know how kids like have wild imaginations, always playing around. While at the register, the daughter had to go to the bathroom. So the mom told her to hurry up. It was only a couple hours down, by the way. While in the bathroom, the daughter texted the mom saying the pale ladies in here who wanted a daughter. The mom trying to get in a rush back home to her other kids said, hurry up, we have to go, stop playing around. 10 minutes later and the daughter never came out. The mother who was waiting outside the bathroom at this time rushes in the bathroom to see what the heck is going on. The daughter was nowhere to be found. She even mm. checked the stalls to see if her daughter was hiding standing on a toilet or something on one of the stalls she found her daughter's cell phone on the floor by the way if you made it this far in the video comment down below your favorite fruit mine Facts. is mangoes when she checked her phone this was the last image found in it police still to this day have no explanation on what happened to that little girl bro i'm trying to figure out what happened to that little girl imagine you find your missing daughter's phone and then you look in it and you see a lady just oh that'd be creepy as hell trigger warning This video is too scary. Do not watch if you have extreme anxiety. Okay. My boy's blinking. <laughs> so I guess we're going for a run. I don't know what's going on. Salud, ramai. Nadie goes on play. Apparently, I'm Asian too. Damn, I'm slow as hell. Exceedable. <laughs> what? Yo, what's going on, bro? Yo, who is that, bro? Everyone going for a jog today. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Nigga just disappeared. Yo, why are their footsteps so loud? Oh, my boy's backing up. Yeah, that sound is triggering. I don't know what's going on, bro. Apparently, we're getting like attacked. Yo, yo, she doing a dash. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Oh yeah, we in there, we in there. Yes sir, yes sir. I mean, we're not getting. Yes sir, we in there. We made it, we made it, guys. We made it. That music. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, he's on your ass. Bro, that video was intense for no reason. Why was it so intense? I was there like, yo, she's really getting chased right now. 
This video is not for you if you get scared easily. Damn. The Bible says that there's certain fallen angels that got chained up and imprisoned under the earth. Person claims to have gotten an audio recording of one of those angels under the earth. Check this out. If he's speaking English, it's over. Hello. I hear the chains. Damn. If you want to learn more about fallen angels, then subscribe and follow for more. And go watch the video I pinned in the comments. You really think that a demon is going to say hello? Motherfuckers from a different planet, different being. And he's speaking English out of all the languages in the world. He's speaking English. Yes. Yes. Do you remember the story of the adult woman who was pretending to be a child in order to get adopted? Well, the story is so much crazier than that. In 2010, the Barnett family adopted Natalia Grace. Look, like I see this this story like every Shortly time I see the a adoption, video. The family claimed that Natalia wasn't who she said she was. She couldn't speak any Ukrainian, which the family thought was weird. But she was also showing signs of being post-puberty, meaning she probably wasn't six years old. So the parents got a bone density test done on her, and the doctor said that she was at least 14, if not older. Oh! And on top of that, her behavior was starting to become menacing. She would stand over the parents' beds at night, saying she was just waiting for the right time, and she threatened violence against the three other sons. One time, she even tried to poison the mother. Damn. But what did the parents do? They get her age legally changed to 22 years old, rent her an apartment, and leave her in it by herself. They thought they were escaping a murderer, but many believe that they abandoned a disabled child. Damn. There's so many twists and turns to this story, and I do a whole deep dive on my podcast this week. That was different from the other story. I didn't know that she was trying to kill him. That's possible, but that's weird, though. Why would you pose as a child if you know you're, like, 20 or 14 years old? Like, that's kind of weird. If you are inside your home with the lights out, do not look outside your window. Turn on your mm. lights before you look through any window. Do not leave your home if you see a figure outside. Even if he is turned away, do not look at him. Lock all doors and windows before turning off all lights inside your residence. Hide in a small space and call authorities. <laughs> do not move from hiding unless you hear an unfamiliar voice. If you do hear a familiar voice coming from mm -hmm. inside your home, do not move. Mm -hmm. He is inside. He mm -hmm. is inside. He is inside. I was laughing because she was just in the corner. She was like, oh, let me just be helpless. <laughs> I was like, bro, I would have been out of there, man. I'm like, what? Are you coming inside my crib? I'm out. Either I'm out or you're dying. There's no other choice. Like, I'm not dying. The Muffin Man was actually a serial killer. The oh, Muffin no. Man is probably one of the most well-known nursery rhymes. But did you know it was based on a real story? A real dark story. In the 1800s, a man by the name of Frederick Thomas Linwood would wait in alleyways to kidnap and kill kids, luring them in with muffins. Why so children? Was later created to spread awareness amongst the kids and keep them safe, warning them about the Muffin Man who was a danger on Drury Lane even though he was the first documented serial killer in the world. Everyone still teaches the song to their kids because not a lot of people know that the Muffin Man was. In my personal opinion, I think that dude needs to be jumped. Like, why are you messing with kids, bro? Like, don't do that. That's weird, bro. Don't do that. Creepy images calling the background of photos. Part four. I don't see it. What the? Whole cult up there. Haven't got a lot. I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. What is that? Oh, you see that face? I'm not gonna lie. The first one was creepier. I'm not gonna lie. The first one was way creepier. Like, why is there a cult in a school? You see another person that looks, looks identical, identical to you. Run away and hide. Hey, Sam. What? Is my laptop charger up there? I don't know. Did you check?
Yo, she really is searching for this charger right now, bro. It's always a shut up. What is she looking at? I don't see. What is that? Maddie, what the fuck? Zoom in. Maddie, it's not funny. What? I got it. Bro, am I blind? Like, do I gotta look closer? Like, what is that? Maddie, Maddie, what? Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Did you find it? <clears throat> Oh, I think that's her. her question mark? Is that Manny? Manny? Manny is not funny, Manny. Ah! Uh, yo, that's creepy as hell. Yo, imagine you're just chilling, you know? Mind your own business. You know, you know you're chilling, you know, doing your thing, you know, look on your phone, looking at a distance. You know, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You look through the, you look out the window, you just see you in the distance. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing over there? I'm right here. The Kraken actually exists. Mm. No sea creature was as horrifying as the Kraken. This huge creature with many arms could uh. reach as high as the top of the sailing sheep's mast, wrapping their arms around the whole mm. ride to crush it before turning it upside down for good. Oh, What's really bizarre up. about the Kraken stories is that of all the sea monster tales that we've heard, this one has evidence based on real witnesses. Because scientists in July 2012 filmed the first video of a live giant squid swimming nearly 2,000 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Damn. The creature was 55 meters long and was said to be a baby version of what it could grow up to be so wow. is it so hard to accept that that's a big ass creature bro do y'all even know how 55 meters like how long that is that's like half a football field i hope if i'm on the ocean i never see something like that i would just die now that i've seen it I potential ghost photo so the other day a reddit user posted this photo to reddit okay it's of his apartment at night he had been complaining of hearing rustling noises in his apartment over the last couple nights oh shoot the users thought they could kind of see something in this area of his kitchen but i couldn't so i looked at the brightened version this is the photo brightened and i know what you're gonna say yes it does look like keanu reeves but look at how <laughs> tall I was thinking that. That's he hilarious. is compared to the fridge but it gets so much worse. This is a video he That's took more his critical. at night where you can see something happen to the light in the kitchen. But let's look at the Brighton version. Uh, yeah, what's good with things in these people's houses, man? Yes, it's terrifying. But is it a ghost? Bro, y'all be having too much going on inside y'all houses, bro. Like, first we got Keanu Reeves in there. Then we got the Slenderman. Like, what's going on? 3 a.m. scary stories haunt. I don't know what's going on with her, bro. Soundtrack kind of kicking. Hey. Mm. She just passed away the way. Oh, she's not dead. I mean, if I was her and I saw a creature like that in the background, best believe I am not fainting. I'm definitely eliminating that. Whatever you do, do not go near the woman dancing in Serbia. She's usually seen dancing in a dress in the middle of the night on a street. 
People believe that if you approach her, she may attack you. Now, there hasn't been any actual reports of her hurting anybody, so this whole thing could be a hoax or a prank, but you guys have to see these videos because they're creepy. Uh. I'm convinced these are real people. There's, there's always just a bunch of them just dancing, bro. This is not the first one I saw. So these are definitely real people. Oh, yo, she's attacking them. It's called a Serbian dancing lady. Yeah, those are called a Serbian dancing lady. I've seen one video of one, but like now that I've seen multiple videos, that these are real people just dancing and attacking people. What the hell? Like, best belief, if I go to Serbia, I am not going up to no lady dancing. No matter how lit she look like she getting, I'm not getting lit with you, bro. This Bible prophecy is happening, happening right, right before now. our eyes in real time. In the book of Revelation in the Bible, it talks about the great Euphrates River in the Middle East. And okay. it says that in the last days before God destroys the earth, that this great river will actually dry up. Oh well, no, it's drying up. This is the current state of that Damn. river. It's drying up right now. But that's not all. The Bible said that God chained up four fallen angels and actually imprisoned them underneath that river. And according uh. to the Bible timeline, when that river dries up, they will be released from under the river to slaughter one third of mankind. Damn. And the river is almost dried up. So it's only a matter of time before those angels are on the earth. If you agree that it's time to get ready for Jesus' return, type amen in the comments and click follow or subscribe for more. Y'all better get to repent him, bro, because Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming back. He's going to be like, I'm going to save everyone. At least the good homeowners. people. Now is the time to switch to At least the good people. We'll see what happens. Love you. These are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole talk. reality. And then... I see that. Stop screaming! Stop screaming! Bella! Bella! I'm being a wizard! Shut up! I'm... It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. This is a real win. I wanted it so big that it looks fake. It's not fake. Not at all. I'm back. It's your boy F I T C I T the E. And today we're looking at this compilation together. So grab your water, your popcorn, whatever you want. Make sure to subscribe and like the video so it gets pushed to more people. If you like this bracelet, check my link down below. Yo, what is that? For a sec, those looked like zombies. I actually thought those were zombies for a sec, but I was like, there's no way. This is real life. This is a real win. Why she's been acting I like this so since she ate a crow on her show? It's not big. <laughs> Have a good oh night. Oh my gosh. By the way, my next destination is Four Club. Okay. Get my money. Correct. Good luck with that. Not gonna lie, Wendy Williams with her eyes wide open like that, always a scary sight. I'd be looking at her like, what's good with her, bro? Talk about luck. Nah, bro was lucky for real. He could have really passed away. Literally like 10 seconds more and he would have been done. What in the world? Ew, what is that? Is that like a special type of fungus that I don't know about? If you know what that was, put it down in the comments. What was that? Nothing back there, right? I told you. There's never. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The light turned off and they started freaking out. They're like, oh shoot, we're gonna get clapped! Oh! I don't know what they saw, but after seeing that, I would've got out of there. I'd be like, nah, I'm not with that, I'm out. What is that? Oh my God, oh my God, don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. No, no. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
Just a little jump scare, something light, nothing crazy. Run, run, please. Oh my god, please don't jump scare. Don't, don't do a jump scare. <laughs> don't do a jump scare. I don't want to get jump scared again. And she has her mic like, oh no. As soon as the nurse got in the room, he just dipped. He was like, nah, I'm not with that. My soul left my body at the end. That's not a dog. He's half cocker spaniel and Australian shepherd. I rescued him. He's from Japan. Where's he at? Yeah, you want to Why she just have her dog just locked up in a closet like that? Like, that's kind of weird if you really think about it. What the freak is this? What is this? <laughs> Facts, what is that? If you know what that was, put that down in the comments. Because I'm looking at it like, is that a fish? Is that like a, some unknown creature that I don't know about? Look closely at the end. My soul left my body. Ew, what type of Freddy Frazbear? Oh, literally at the very end of that, you can see an eyeball. Like, look at them. Oh my God, that'd be scary. Looking through a hole and seeing an eyeball like that. Got my daughter this camera from Amazon. Play for close attention. Christmas. That's so creepy. She's very almost four. Um, we're just hanging out at home today by ourselves. My husband's at work. She's been telling us she's been seeing somebody in her room. Um, she can't really sleep well. She refuses to sleep in there. We just moved to this house. Um, I never set the date or time on this camera because it's just like a little play camera. So she would quit taking her phones and taking pictures of herself because she's at that age right now. Mm. So um, we just like never set the time so she just took a picture and she says mommy look there's a man in the photo mommy. i said what she said there's Ew. a man in my photo and i went like that real quick like just this just happened just like five minutes ago like no one else is here it's just us like i'm gonna have to change the date and time so i can get more pictures for y'all but look at that in this oh imagine you gave your daughter like a play camera and she just takes a picture of like some entity i'm like yo what is going on 2018 the youtuber killer Infinite clown outside his house a scary clown on halloween that is the creepiest thing ever oh my god he was able to capture a video of it from inside his house in the video you can clearly see a scary clown mm -hmm. standing outside the window of infinite's house when the clown sees infinite filming he waves and then disappears around the side of the house is he going to the door no, 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 I have to lock it. This is when Infinite gets really scared, as he realizes that his front door is unlocked, and that the clown may be able to Why get inside his house. Lock? He makes it to his front door and locks it just in time. He puts the camera up to the peephole, and you can see the clown standing outside his door, trying to get in. I know he said this happened on Halloween, but that clown is brave. That's really how you would get shot. Like, I'm being for real. I'm being for real, you come up to my window or my door like that, with a clown look like you're trying to kill Bro, you're getting eliminated. Okay, I stepped out of the bathroom here completely pitch black i have no idea why coming through the kitchen here oh say hi bernard <laughs> bernard just chilling you. look at him and then Ew, I see ooh, that. yo whose man is that uh, this is the third time I've come through, and this is exactly how they've seen them. Big round of applause to her for keeping her chill, because I'm looking at that, I'm like, bro, if I had a camera now, I'd just come around, look, looks like two eyes and like a face, I'd be like, nah. It won't let me go outside. <laughs> what is it? Oh, what is that? <sighs> oh. Why are you running towards it? Oh, oh, oh. For a sec, the camera angle looked like he was moving towards it. But in my opinion, if she's cracking up like that, getting up, bro, hit her with one bang. One side kicking on one bang. She's gonna be like, she's gonna fold. Trust me, bro, trust me. Chicken, chicken, Look at my hands, like, I don't know. I lost the remote like two days ago. So I don't understand how this is happening. No. No. No kidding. What the freak? Is that chicken? Look at my hands are right here. No. Bang! No way! What the freak? Replay. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? In all these videos, it's always just some weird thing in the corner, bro. Like, what's going on inside these people's houses? Terrifying moments caught on planes. All the passengers on this flight were terrified because of this. Oh. This flight assistant was inspecting a plane at night when he notices something horrifying. What is that? This passenger was recording the sky from the plane when suddenly. Okay, what is that? That looks like a whale. That looks like a whale in the sky. You see how it came out like that? I thought it was about to be like, ooh. That would have been kind of cool, no lies. My phone. The summer after high school when we first met, we make out in your Mustang to Radiohead. And on my 18th birthday, we got matching tattoos. We used to steal your parents' liquor and climb to the roof. Talk about... <laughs> Ghost was like, shut up. Did you actually see that? No, what happened? Go I don't know, man. Dude, if, is anyone home? I don't think so. Your parents went out. From Australia. Shout out to my Australian fans. If I get dragged down the fucking hall, I swear to God, man. Oh, oh my God, this shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm telling you, bro, the ghost did not like her singing. She was like, what is she talking? Mustang? What? I don't care. Shout out to every single person that's watching my video right now from Australia. I need to go visit Australia sooner or later, bro. Trust me. It looks really nice over there. All you guys have like a lot of kangaroos and insects and stuff. I would definitely be kind of terrified of. But hey, I can make it work. Bro, what the freak is that? Ew, what is that? For a sec, that looked like a ninja turtle. I was like, yo, what is the ninja turtle doing in the forest? But nah, it's just some weirdo. What are these little demons? So he gives him a claw. Oh, where do you even find that? Oh, where do you even find that? Like what type of like species of underwater? If you know what that was, put that down in the comments because I, I don't even know where, where, what, or who, like. She was completely normal until. What the hell? Oh! I'm not gonna lie, that one might be Cap because for a second it looked like she was contemplating it. And why is this guy just recording her randomly when she was normal and then all of a sudden she just breaks out into a demon? Kinda sketchy if I do say so myself. I'm, what the I'm freak is happening? <laughs> I'm literally over here, like I've... I've Bro, I'm terrified. Oh, what the hell? I'm terrified. I'm tipsy. I just came back from the I'm hotel tipsy. bar. It's tipsy. This is scary the I'm fuck out of me. Tipsy. I was reading a scary book. Like, no joke. I was just reading a oh, horror novel. So and I dr drank and came back. And my name is saying 666. I'm terrified. They're mm. coming to take it out of my room. But Why she say room like that? She was like, they're coming to take it out of my room. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Why was it 6666 specifically, though? Worst possessions call on camera. Keep your eye on the little girl. Strange things start happening around the room. The entity starts to pull her blanket down. Did you see that? Oh. What? Go away. Go away. Leave. Nah, that entity was tripping. It just grabbed her blanket and grabbed her. It's like, yo, I'm gonna take your blanket and I'm gonna take you. Hella disrespectful if you ask me. Yo, this is the guy that has beef with the werewolves.
Oh, I'd be terrified. Yo, I hate spiders. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, pull over. Yo, that looked crazy, bro. Imagine you had a spider on top of your roof while you're driving, bro. Oh my gosh. This is exactly what I mean by I'm low-key kind of scared to go to Australia. I'm not gonna lie. Back again with the man with the beef with the werewolf. You hear the werewolf? It's coming for him. Believe your toddlers when they say they see ghosts. Who? Jagger, there's no one up there. Literally. Show me. Jagger, there's no one up there. <laughs> He's been talking to that vent and then he was blowing it kisses. And I'm creeped out now. Like, seriously, I'm not joking. I'm so creeped out right now. That child is just tripping. That's why kids usually have imaginary friends. Like, is there actually a person there? Hell no, but like in their head. It's their own creative, you know, own creative ability. Scariest videos found on the dark web, part three. It seemed like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. The way is worth it, watch till the end. The shoes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight person tent, or the six person tent. Okay. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time so I thought first of the season I should pull that out give it a give it a go it's about that time this looks so sketchy bro on the setting it's about 8 o'clock should be dark out here and why are you out. by yourself too beautiful night I'm going to be turning in early though Third time I've been woken up by these goddamn noises. Mm -hmm. There's something right outside the Leave me alone! Oh! oh. Flashlight. I can't see God thing outside this night vision. I don't know where the f they chase me off. I'm wondering the god darkness. I gotta be personally, I'd be freaking out if I was camping that late. I'd be like, yo, what is going on? Then some entity tries to break into my tent, then I walk out and I see Slenderman. Hell no. We saw that video in one of our last videos in this series. So check out those videos. Check out this whole series. I promise you it's a good series. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. Love you.